And welcome to episode 5 of the Computercraft Open Peripherals Tutorial, uh, Programming Tutorial that is. Uh, today I am going to be covering the loop functions. Um, okay, so let's start off with uh, editing tutorial number 5 here. Alright, there are three used loops in uh, Lua, open peripherals or computer craft. The while, for, and while for and return. Each of these have different uses. Uh, we'll start off with the most used loop, the while loop. While, uh, while a statement, like, well, let's go out here and set up a variable. A equals 10. While A, A is greater than or equal to zero, do the following. Uh, you do need the do at the end. Uh, this tells it while this is true, do this loop. And that's less than. Um, greater than. There we go. While A is greater than or equal to zero, do the following. Let me kill that rain effect here real quick. Alright, while A is greater than or equal to zero, do the following. We just want to do a simple print to screen. Print. Ah, my typing's not going well today. Print A. Now we need to make sure that it minus or else it will continue to repeat itself and you would end up with an indefinite loop. So a equals a minus 1. You could make it 2 or 3, but we'll just do a equals a minus 1. And we call it to an end. So we let's uh, exit out of that and run this. As you can see there, count backwards from 10 down to 0. Now let's edit tutorial 5 again. Um, we can do the same with a for loop. For a equals 10. This sets the initial parameter. Uh, we want it to go down to 0. This is where we want it to end at. And we will tell it to step down by 1 each time. And we would need the do at the end of that. Uh, and we can just do print A. And we will end the statement. And we can run tutorial 5 again. As you can see here, it did step down by 1 each time. And the last one of these is called repeat. Okay. It's sort of like a while loop, but with while, uh, say, a already started out equaling 0, that while a, a is uh, greater than or equal to 0, or while a is greater than 0, it would not print out a or 
do what we wanted it to do. So, but say we do put a equals zero. Repeat will repeat an action until it comes out false. It will re uh, it will let me state this here. It will print at least a a minus or a equals uh, a equals a minus one. Uh, it will print out a at least once uh, here because at the end of the repeat we tell it when it should no longer repeat until a is until a is less than or equal to zero okay uh, we do not need end on this until is the end to repeat so this is one that does not need the end function at the end so let's display this as you notice it did print zero once on the screen However, if we did change this to say 10 and made it run tutorial 5, it will go 10 down to 1. It did not print 0 because when it hit 0, it knew to terminate. And that's been the basics of the loops on uh, would love to see what you guys can come up with so feel free to leave me a video comment or a comment below with the paste bin I will take a look at that uh, gladly use the variables and the functions that I've taught you guys previously as well as the mathematical functions so with that um, if this has helped you like subscribe below and I uh, recommend this to all your other friends and until next time later gators